Hello and welcome, Bomber FD here. Today guys, we are at Oryx's Daughter's Encounter at the King's Fall. I'm going to go over a quick guide of how to assign roles and quickly overcome this battle. Out of the random groups and raids that have come in here, there has been a little confusion of how the mechanics work, so hopefully this makes it a little bit clearer. First, we're going to see an overview of the map. You're going to see how you're going to label each one of the platforms. It's going to be R1, L1, R2, and L2. You can see R1 and L1 are closest to the door, as L2 and R2 are the farthest from the door. Now, you'll assign four guardians to each one of these platforms. You'll assign another guardian in the center, being able to clear all ads that are spawned, and that is his sole job. Another guardian that is the most familiar with this encounter that will be able to replace any one of the platforms in case anyone dies or is torn in between dimensions. Two things will start at the beginning of this encounter. A relic will appear above one platform, as well as one guardian is going to be torn in between dimensions and look somewhat invisible. The actual encounter will not begin until one guardian jumps onto one of the platforms, so this gives plenty of time to assign roles and come up with a game plan. The objective is to get the torn guardian that is in between dimensions up to the relic. So using this as an example, the relic has appeared above platform R2. So the first platform that would need to be stood on, as well as where the runner would immediately go, is L2. Once L2 is stood on, then it would be L1. After L1, then R1. A big confusion is that people think you need a fourth platform, but actually the relic that is above the platform does not need to be stood on. So instead, that guardian will go to the center and help clear ads with the other assigned guardian clearing the ads. Now, the guardian that was torn and that was the runner of the platforms, once you reach the relic at the top, all you need to do is stand on it. It'll eventually bring you back to normal, and at that time, you're able to jump down to one of the daughters. You're gonna wanna make sure you jump to the correct daughter, and the correct daughter will be the one that's in total chill mode. You do not want to jump to the one that's red and pissed off. Once you're able to steal the brand from it, you're able to then deal damage. So what I like to do with my raids is either meet on the L1 or R1 platform depending on which daughter you are trying to deal damage to. As long as everyone is grouped up and together within the bubble, you are completely invincible and cannot take damage. The whole reason to this is the one daughter that is super pissed off and red is doing some kind of liturgy that at the end of the timer will go ahead and kill everything in sight. If you are not in that bubble, you will be killed. This also brings up the last point. If your group is very geared, go ahead and kill the daughter on the first try. If not, make sure not to kill that daughter because you will need the opposite bubble. If you take the bubble from the one that is super pissed off and red, you will not be safe from the liturgy that it casts at the very end. Instead, you will all die. So hopefully I didn't confuse any on that. For example, if you go down and steal the bubble from the chill one, go ahead and lower that daughter's health to very minimal health. After that, you're going to re rinse and repeat the whole step of jumping on the platforms. You're gonna then steal the bubble from the other chill daughter, and you're going to go ahead and kill that daughter this time. After that, you're going to rinse and repeat one last time, and you're going to steal the bubble from now the pissed off daughter, and go ahead and finish the pissed off daughter. I kind of feel like I didn't choose my words very wisely with explaining this fight, but hopefully it made sense and it wasn't misconceived for anything else. I'll go ahead and show you guys an example and also a point of view on each one of the roles now. As you can see, I have been assigned to the L2 platform. The relic has appeared above R1, and the jumper and runner is now beginning on R2. So they're going to go ahead and jump up, I'm going to jump up next, and then L1 is going to jump up. At this time, it does spawn enemies. The only thing you have to worry about is the major that appears in the center. Other than that, it's pretty easy. You will have vandals spawn at the hem of weaving at 40 seconds. You can go ahead and look up right at the 40 seconds. Go ahead and kill those vandals. They are probably the biggest damage dealers out here. Once you've seen your runner get the relic, you can then jump off your platform while he goes up and steals the brand from one of the daughters. Everyone else will regroup to the L1 platform. Here you can also do a weapons of light bubble in the back and still have enough room on the platform to do damage. Just waiting for the brand to get there so that you are invincible. Again, here you can either kill the first daughter or if you do not have enough damage, make sure you do not completely kill her. Now for the runner point of view. You're gonna wanna start on the counterclockwise platform to the relic. You're gonna wanna make sure they all jump on in that sequence as well. 
you're usually going to jump up onto each platform as you're going. You're going to want to do this as quickly as possible. The quicker you do this and get the brand and get to the designated spot to deal damage, the more time you'll have to actually deal the damage to the daughter. As you can see, once I have the relic, I am no longer torn between dimensions. I then jump down to the total chill daughter and steal her brand and then go to the designated platform that is in a line to kill her. With this method, you are on the second daughter, you're going to want to kill her. That way you are able to kill the first daughter the last time you have to rinse and repeat all these steps. After you've killed the second daughter, all you have to do is rinse and repeat and then go and damage the first daughter once again. She should barely have any health and be very easily to go ahead and finish off. This was kind of a long video and a lot of work to put this together, so I really do hope this does help some people out there with understanding the mechanics as well as just the fight in general. If you guys did enjoy it, please do thumbs up as well as subscribe as it really does help me. And guys, as always, before I go, do know that you are loved.